This morning, police are searching for a burglary suspect that left a Lexington home trashed. Six firefighters hospitalized in Anderson County after a dangerous wreck. And gasoline prices are dropping below two bucks a gallon in some parts of the bluegrass. Those stories and more and breaking news as it happens coming up on WKYT This Morning. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning and welcome to you. It's so good to have you with us here on Wednesday. It's Hump Day and we're delighted you're along at 4.30. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Welcome in. Looks like winter's back uh, on its way to the bluegrass this morning. A little hint of that. Yeah, whether you like it or not, gusty winds are blowing much cooler air into central Kentucky and we could see some snow actually tomorrow. For the first track on the weather, let's turn to meteorologist Micah Harris. Yeah, that's what we're seeing and a little flurry potential out there this morning as we work our way through uh, the morning hours. I think we get rid of that, but you can see it outside. It's not much and it's not going to mount to anything. It just kind of puts you in that holiday mood. And you can see it out and about. See these little blips right in here? And with this system still trying to push all the way through, it's not through just yet, but those clouds laying around. Anytime you have those, and we say this all the time, and temperatures like these, you can get some flurries flying across the region. The snow threat doesn't come today. It really comes tomorrow. It's going to be a cold one today, though. 36 degrees, not rising much whatsoever. We'll go over the latest snow threat coming up in just a few minutes. See you then. We thank you. And leading our news this morning, we're tracking the investigation into an accident involving a fire truck that sent six firefighters to the hospital. Witnesses tell us the fire truck ran off Puckett Road in Anderson County and crashed into a tree. We're told the Alton Station firefighters were on their way to help with the wreck near an intersection at Hammonds Creek Road at the time of the crash. Witnesses say a firefighter sitting in the passenger side had to be cut out of the truck fire. They had to cut a couple of limbs off of the the fire truck, it was sitting about right here. It ended up right past the mailbox here. And they ended up pulling the, uh, the tree, what was left of the tree, they pulled it up with the wrecker. Neighbors tell us there have been wrecks on this stretch of road before. As far as they can remember, none have caused this much damage. New this morning, Lexington police are searching for a burglar. It happened on Pinewood Court on Tuesday. Homeowners tell WKYT that their window was busted out. Police say the suspect came in and stole a gaming system, shoes, and cash. The homeowners tell us the thief left their house in a total mess. Well, it's a rare sight in Kentucky, but fish and wildlife officials say they have captured and killed a mountain lion in Bourbon County. Mountain lions are not native to Kentucky. Fish and wildlife officials say it's the first one seen here since the 1800s. They say a woman walking her dog spotted the animal in a tree behind her home. A man who lives nearby told us the woman had a smartphone and had managed to take a picture of the animal. Many of you ask us why fish and wildlife officials killed the mountain lion, so we asked them that question. They told us that they felt the mountain lion was a threat to the public, so they had to shoot it. That is a, an animal that is put on this earth to, to eat. Um, and it being relatively close to a human city, um, focal center, human activity, darting it, the time constraints involved in waiting for it to get there, the decision was made to euthanize the animal, and um, it was the right decision. Fish and wildlife officials also say they did not have tranquilizers with them on the evening that this happened. They worried if they waited too long, the mountain lion could have gotten away and hurt someone. Fish and wildlife officials say the animal weighed about 125 pounds. They're looking into the possibility that someone had it as a pet. Well, a third person has been charged in connection to a shooting outside an eastern Kentucky Walmart. A Manchester police said they arrested 78-year-old Delmar Edwards on Monday. He's been charged with first-degree assault. Last week, police say Michael Edwards and Richard Lawson got into an argument in the parking lot of the Manchester Walmart. Police say Lawson was punched and kicked before Edwards shot him. Lawson suffered serious injuries. Police charge Edwards with attempted murder and assault. They also charged Ashley Bray with assault in the case. A central Kentucky father tells us he is dealing with an unimaginable loss, the death of his teenage son. 17-year-old Colton Burris died Saturday after investigators say his truck flipped over an embankment near Sadieville. He was a student at Harrison County High School and a member of the junior ROTC program there. And those who knew him say he wanted to go on to college and to join the military. His father works in law enforcement and says he has seen so many car crashes over the years, but he says nothing could prepare him for losing his son. I've cried enough tears to float this room. It's, he was an only child, 
And from the time he was born, he and I, we hit it off just like no other. He also says he is finding some comfort in family and his son's friends. Colton's visitation will be from 5 until 8 tonight at the Ware Funeral Home in Cynthiana, and the funeral will be Saturday. Well, this morning we're tracking the investigation into the death of a coal miner in western Kentucky. The State Division of Mine Safety says 34 year old Eli Eldridge was hit by a coal hauling car Tuesday morning in an underground mine in Union County. He later died from injuries. Investigators say this was the second mining death in Kentucky this year. For the second time in the last few weeks, police are investigating a crime at an eastern Kentucky business. This time, investigators say burglars broke into Adams Market in Leslie County. They say the burglars stole two garbage bags full of cigarette cartons on Monday night. Two weeks ago, someone had robbed the store at gunpoint. Store owner says she's had enough. It hurts everybody in the community. Uh, we, there's several other stores. You know, I'm sure they're waiting. Just waiting to see if it's going to happen to them and it's uh, it's just bad to think that it's people you know that does it. Police later arrested a man for the robbery but they have not made any arrests for the burglary. The store owner is offering a reward for information that does lead to an arrest. Well this morning health leaders have an alert about a gastrointestinal illness that is going around Lexington. The Fayette County Health Department is tracking a Shigalosis outbreak in the city. There you go. Health department says 150 cases have been reported this year. Health experts say normally Lexington only has two or three a year. The illness is caused by the Shigella bacteria, which is easily spread. The health department isn't sure what's caused the spike in cases. The bacteria often spread in daycares, so daycare workers are taking extra precautions. So you just have to make sure to stay right on top of that, and again with proper hand washing and, and sanitizing, and you know wiping down all the surfaces and things like that. When you're in a, in a child care setting, you just, you have to just make sure that those things are priority. Doctors say the bacteria is spread through person to person contact. They say hand washing is the best way to prevent it from spreading. Bergen Independent Schools will be closed the rest of the week because of illness. The Bergen superintendent says student attendance has dropped over the last week and it's fallen to 80%. Custodians will clean the schools, but again, Bergen Independent Schools will be closed the rest of the week. It's hard to miss if you drive by the Center Point project in downtown Lexington, but it will probably get your attention, this anyway, a new crane now towering over the block. When it's finished, it will be 25 stories tall. The pieces for the new crane began arriving at Center Point yesterday morning. A second tower crane still has to be brought in. A reminder that the left lane of Main Street at Center Point will be closed until Friday afternoon as part of that massive crane construction. Christmas came early this year for some drivers in Laurel County. They are getting gas prices below $2 a gallon. According to AAA, the national average for gas is about $2.53. That's almost a dollar less when compared to prices last year. The Circle K gas station nearly ran out of gas only four hours after offering the low price. Yeah, my mom, she's in Louisville right now. I'd like to go up there and visit with her. And now that gas is so cheap, I'll be able to. Remember, you can find the cheapest gas prices where you live on WKYT.com.